This is a demonstration of how the Colmorgan cartridge DDR motor mounts to your machine. The rotor of the cartridge direct drive rotary motor mounts directly to the shaft of your machine. There is no mechanical transmission such as belts, pulleys, or gearboxes as typically found on conventional servo motors. The cartridge DDR motor has no bearings to support the rotor. The rotor is supported by your machine's bearings that already exist to support the load. Looking into the drive end of the cartridge DDR motor gives a better understanding of how the motor is applied. The slot to the left and stress relief to the right are part of the split ring compression coupling that secures the rotor of the cartridge DDR motor to the shaft of the machine. The compression coupling is secured with a bolt that is located under a cap screw beside the label A on the motor housing. An alignment pin is threaded into the motor housing beside the label B. The alignment pin has a cylindrical end that engages the corresponding hole in the rotor. This maintains the radial and axial position of the rotor when not mounted to the machine. In this unmounted state, the rotor of the cartridge DDR motor is allowed to contact one side of the housing. There are touch down surfaces so that there is no contact between the permanent magnets on the rotor and the windings in the stator. The precision sign encoder in the cartridge DDR motor is factory aligned and secured with a proprietary coupling that allows the translational movement of an unmounted rotor while maintaining a rigid torsional connection to facilitate precise position and velocity feedback. This simple mounting stand represents your machine. There is a roll mounted on bearings in the machine frame. The machine's process occurs on the roll. To facilitate mounting the cartridge DDR motor, the shaft extends beyond the machine frame on one end. There is a stepped shaft diameter to facilitate ease of installation. The motor housing mounts to the machine frame with a pilot and bolt circle just like a conventional motor. To install the cartridge DDR motor to your machine, start by sliding the motor onto the shaft. Since the rotor is off-center, the pilot of the motor is not aligned with the pilot on the machine frame. There is a lead-in chamfer on the motor pilot that makes it a simple process to engage the pilot of the cartridge DDR motor to the machine. The housing of the motor is secured to the machine frame with four mounting bolts. After the four mounting bolts are secured, the rotor is centered in the motor by the machine shaft. Remove the cap screw from the hole labeled A to access the compression coupling. Using a torque wrench and a hex bit, tighten the compression coupling. The rotor of the cartridge DDR motor is now secured to the machine shaft. Remove the alignment pin from the hole labeled B. The shaft of the machine is now free to rotate along with the rotor of the cartridge DDR motor. The hole labeled A now becomes the storage location for the alignment pin, and the hole labeled B is the storage location for the cap screw. This also seals the motor housing to IP65. The mounting of the cartridge DDR motor to your machine is now complete. All that is left is to connect the cables and run the machine.